I'm Leo Wood for Kit Guru. Today is the day that AMD lifts its embargo on second generation Ryzen processors, the ones that are die shrunk from 14 nanometer to 12 nanometer. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff that came in this box here, including some G Skill Sniper memory, which is uh, 3400 megahertz memory. Uh, interesting in the sense that it's got the compatible with Ryzen sticker on it, but previously from G Skill we saw Flare X and it was all black. It didn't have the sniper kind of camouflage thing going on uh, because the second generation Ryzen supports slightly faster memory. We also got this box here which has a couple of CPUs inside. And they are respectively the Ryzen 5 2600X and the Ryzen 7 2700X. 2600X is essentially the replacement for the 1600X and 2700X is essentially the replacement for the 1700X. That's all as makes sense. Uh, it is worth noting, and you'll see all this on our news over at Kit Guru, where Matthew's going to have written up lots of good stuff and given you tables and all the slides and the presentation and goodness knows what else, that there is not a Ryzen 2800X. The 2700X is the king of the heap. Also, at the moment, there are four models, 2700X, 2700, uh, and then 2600X, Ryzen 5, and 2600. We expect there will be uh, more CPUs coming further down the stack later. You can probably fill the gaps in, in your own mind, but right now we don't know about those officially. Let's just cut open this box and see what we get inside. There's the CPU, just as you'd expect. And here we have the cooler. AMD is making uh, something of a um, feature of the fact you get a proper cooler. So you can see there you've got the tim on the cooler, but you've also got the copper slug in the center. They are saying that that is a proper cooler and you can therefore use it with your Ryzen. You haven't got to kind of replace it immediately. Although Kit Guru's guess is that most enthusiasts will indeed do that. And let's also unbox the 2700X, actual genuine unboxing. And again, the CPU. And here we're expecting the new Prism cooler. Much grander. So that's all RGB and there's a second cable in here. Yep, there you go, more cables. That's a USB RGB control. Uh, this is, I understand, made by Cooler Master and the real getting the tim off it already onto the paperwork uh, and the reason i say that uh, despite the fact this is an unboxing is that when i was briefed by amd they had a cooler master icon on the desktop of their test machine uh, to control the colors the rgb uh, this has been slightly redesigned from the previous max cooler it's uh, more rounded at the top the idea is it uh, avoids tall memory uh, heat sinks so it's not just pretted up, it has also been slightly redesigned. If you use your new Ryzen 2600X or 2700X on an X370 motherboard, you can expect to miss out on a couple of the new features of the CPU, which are XFR2 and Precision Boost 2. Uh, they're significant because they control uh, how well the uh, CPU turbos, how many cores run at which higher speed. You'll get slightly more clock speed with the second gen Ryzen CPU on the X470 than you do on the X370. We are told the performance degrades more gracefully when you use the new CPU with the new chipset, but the differences do appear to be quite subtle. Let's take a quick look at these shiny new motherboards. Get that out of the way. Give ourselves some room. The ASUS ROG Crosshair 7 Hero Wi-Fi. Looks entirely ROG-like, more black, actually it's pretty much all black. Uh, the red is pretty much absent. You've got the micro buttons on board. You've got, uh, you've got your connection points. If you want to stick your multimeter in there. You've got a postcode detector. You've got a whole bunch of fan headers, headers and connectors all over. The audio caps look lovely and gold. You've got the, audio, uh, you've got the LED traces around the outside of the audio section, just as we'd expect. It's all the usual ROG crosshair goodness. Wow. That is a lot of USB. 
you saw that before I did, of course, uh, a whole heap of USB 3.0s plus audio plus uh, USB 3.1. That's going to be Gen 2 because you've got a Type-C in there. I doubt they've uh, skimped and gone for Gen 1. And onboard Wi-Fi and the usual clear CMOS and uh, update your BIOS buttons. That's a lot of good stuff. Uh, what have we got in the way of graphics? So, no, not surprising, no graphics outputs whatsoever. So forget about using your Raven Ridge your APU in your Crosshair board. But, you know, let's face it. Why would you? So that's looking like good stuff, and I can see one M.2 there, and I'm guessing that's an M.2 under that heatsink there, and it supports dual graphics cards. Yep, looks like solid stuff and decent cooling on the VRMs as well. Nice, looking forward to that. Pulling in the X470 Aorus Gaming 7 Wi Fi. Come the day we get quiet anti-static packaging, that'll be a nice day. So that covers flapping around because that's an M.2 heatsink, so is that. That's a slightly shorter version of. Bunch of laid down SATA. Headers and connectors in the usual styly. Extensive heat sinks on the VRMs. Looks like they're high-end intersil VRMs. You've got LEDs going on in the uh, RAM slots. Uh, options of BIOS chips. Less USB than the ASUS at first flush, so in a sense you've got some space there and there, but broadly similar, integrated Wi-Fi. Looks like quality kit. Uh, heaps of fan connections, RGB, including RGBW. So that's good to see. Yep, that looks on the face of it. Oh, and dual power connections up here. That's interesting. So another serious high-end motherboard. And finally, the MSI. I don't, by the way, have pricing on these boards yet. We're, that's all going to be announced when the NDA lifts uh, and pre-sales are accepted. So not long to go, but not quite yet. Again, M.2 is under there, although the cover doesn't move around, which is actually slightly better. Uh, there's other ones where if you don't have an M.2 populated, the uh, cover stroke heatsink was flapping around. That's slightly more sensible. Oh, uh, we've got gold caps on the audio, postcode, micro buttons, reinforced RAM, reinforced graphics, doesn't look like LEDs there. Again, looks like high-end VRMs there. No heat pipe connecting the two heat sinks. Turning to the I.O. bit gigabyte-esque. So you've got the red-black colour scheme, but you've got gaps where you could cram in more USB. Uh, again, no graphics connectors. Again, not intended for the APU market, which makes perfect sense. USB 3, USB 3. Uh, that's going to be their overclocking control not so sure i can't remember the name of that now but uh, not so uh, sure about the uh, value of that i saw that on the threadripper model but other than that it looks understated looks solidly designed going to be fascinated to see what the pricing is in these motherboards but in a sense that's a detail uh x370 x470 they have to be in similar sort of pricing points uh, because uh, the Ryzen market is quite clearly uh, value-oriented. Uh, AMD is desperate to take the fight to Intel. Uh, and they're making the point that Ryzen 5 second gen is comparable with uh, Coffee Lake uh, Core i5. And the Ryzen 7 2700X is comparable with the uh, high-end 6 core Coffee Lake. Uh, obviously, uh, AMD is playing with more cores than Intel. They've got slightly lower clock speed according to the specs. IPC they are claiming is uh, in the same ballpark. Uh, overall, they think they've got a solid product here. Quite clearly, we have motherboards galore. Uh, one of the interesting things that we're going to be finding out in our reviews is if you already have an X370 board and you drop in a new processor, is that worthwhile? Do you get more memory speed? And uh, does the X370 hold back your processor or do you actually require an X470 to get the full benefit? These are all uh, important questions and we will be addressing those in reviews. Meanwhile, this is just a what's in the press kit uh, and we're going to crack on now with reviews. Uh, so you'll be able to place your order for these motherboards and these processors today and you'll get your delivery next week all being well.
If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you want more from Kit Guru, click to subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want to be alerted to new videos from Kit Guru. I'm Leo Waldock. This is Mutt AMD Second Gen Ryzen Press Kit.